Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 10th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. That means, you know, it may not resonate on the 10th, but we're shooting for the 10th. All right, so let's see what comes up. This is for whoever, okay, whoever it resonates with. Remember, I, I said the other day, the people that comment the most seem to be the ones I resonate with the most. But then I heard from a lot of other people that said, you know, I don't comment, but your readings always resonate. So, you know, thank you for all of you that have sent me your energy. I appreciate that. Um, even though it was a little overwhelming. <laughs> what do we have for the 10th? You know, it looks to me like somebody is is trying to stick something out, putting in all the effort they can possibly put in to, you know, keep going. Really trying to keep going here. But I'm on the verge of, of giving up. So somebody may be on the verge of giving up, but they're really trying. Really, really trying hard. Um... But things are unbalanced, okay? With the Six of Pentacles reversed, things are unbalanced. Things are out of whack. Um, there's, a, there's a new opportunity waiting. There's a new opportunity waiting, but somebody is... And it feels like they can't see it. Somebody can't see that this new opportunity is waiting for them because they just don't believe. They don't have faith You know, somebody doesn't believe that they have a better opportunity, a golden opportunity, when, and it's like they're holding on to something in their, that's holding them back. Something is holding them back from wish fulfillment. It's almost like somebody's, this, I mean, the Six of Pentacles reverse, holding on to a one-sided situation where you're not getting, I'm not getting what I deserve. When they could be getting what they deserved if they dropped what no longer served them and stood up and just headed down that road, but whatever. Um, trying to, you know, not take the tra traditional approach, right? Trying to go around it, you know, trying to go around what really is, which is pretty interesting. Holding on, somebody's holding on to a negative situation where there's no more growth. Okay, I'm sorry to say that, but that's the truth. Okay, somebody's holding on to a situation where there's no more growth, trying to stick it out, trying to put in all they can put in when there's really nothing left to put in, you know. Really determined, really, really term determined to hold on. But it's like they're trying to hold on to a commitment where there's no more life. You know, they're trying to hold on to a partnership or a marriage or a commitment or something where there's no more happiness. There's nothing to celebrate. There's no more joy. There's no more happiness and joy. But still holding on? Why? Why? When there's wish fulfillment, you know, once you stop holding on. It's like somebody's hoping that if they stick it out, right? If they stick it out, even though they're not getting what they deserve, that something will manifest. It's like somebody's trying to manifest something that... is a dead end, you know, and it's time to become alive. We've talked about this before. It's it's time to stop letting your it's time to stop holding on to that exhausting situation, okay? 
there's been a, a, a situation that has caused a lot of mental exhaustion and sadness that somebody just is, is still holding on to. And it's like the other person isn't even committed anymore. They're pro they could be involved with somebody else. Reluctant to move on. Reluctant to see a new approach. Staying in a situation that is so troublesome. Needing to reevaluate for sure. Reevaluate, you know, what you want in life. So I, I, I really feel like we have somebody here that is stuck, okay? The Six of Swords reversed. Stuck. Somebody is stuck in a shitty situation. And they're stuck there because they're refusing to stand up and walk away. It's time. It's time to bring peace. It's time. It's a time to bring peace. Peace of mind, you know, it's time. Because the star is about peace. It's funny, I picked this for today. You know, I picked that. It's about peace, okay? It's about finding peace in a situation. But the only way to find peace is to get unstuck. There is an opportunity for wish fulfillment if somebody could see what they were worth. There's a new opportunity waiting. It's a big one. It's like there's a big opportunity right here. It's right, right, right here. But somebody has to release that past pain, okay? Because, I mean, here we got the Three of Swords. Then we got the Ace of Swords equals the Four of Swords. That's releasing that pain from the past. Why are you holding on to that? Let it go. It's like they're trying to answer your prayers, but you're not, you're not accepting it. What is this Ace of Pentacles here? There's a new opportunity like right in your face. Right, right, right in your face. You know, and it's like you're throwing it away. Somebody is throwing the opportunity away. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. I mean, I do. I do understand, but... I don't know why somebody is letting the past hurts weigh them down when they when they have an opportunity to go in a new direction. I just don't, I mean, I do understand, but I, I don't like it. You know, it's time to step over that finish line. It's time to stop holding on to the dead end. It's like, we, like I said, we got this new beginning waiting. It's just waiting, but you have to step over the edge. You have to take that new approach. You have to see things differently. There's a there's a there's a lack of uh, well, there's a feeling of emptiness. There's a feeling of um, something being incomplete, right? Somebody's feeling it's not over yet. It's not over yet. That's a thought. Somebody's in a situation where they're not getting any reciprocation at all. Okay, the six of but no reciprocation at all. And it's over. It's over. And all the, all the other person has to do is turn their back. Stop focusing on it. And realize that there's another opportunity right in front of your face. Right in front of your face. This is no joke. It is. It's right in front of your face, and it's a big one, okay? I mean, right there. There's the opportunity. It's arrived. It's here. Can you see it? I mean, what, are you, are you, you got a blindfold on or something? 
I mean, it's like somebody is refusing to step over the finish line and hanging on to the past hurts. Therefore, they're letting the past hurts weigh them down when they have this new beginning, like, like I said, it's right here, it's right here. And, you know, it's like you're throwing it away. And you're throwing it away because, I mean, we have dead end all over in this, re it's a, you're holding on to a dead end. It's like somebody has become lazy, you know, and it's just easy. It's easy to stay here and protecting myself. It's sad because there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here. There's an opportunity for happiness. But you're going to have to open your heart. You're going to have to master your emotions and really let somebody love you. So I feel like we have somebody here that is not seeing a huge opportunity. They came out together. It's like, like, like I said, holding on to a dead end situation when there's a new endings bring new beginnings. That's the meaning of the death card. So for those of you that are letting go of, a, of a, 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 an old cycle in love, an old relationship. You have a new beginning here. You do. It's a time of rebirth. It's a time of renewal. It is with a star card. It is. It's, it's a time. It's time to begin again. Stop holding on to the dead end where there's no more love, where there's no reciprocation. Please. It's like... It's time to shut down. It's time to shut down the that old end, okay? Let it go. Let it go. Let it end so that you can begin again. It's time to begin again. Even if you don't get the closure, you may have to begin again without any closure. No closure here. No closure. No apology. No closure. Whatever. You don't need it. You don't need it. You really don't need it. You know, it's, it's, it's like somebody's trying to think, you know, I can manifest, I can manifest this, I can manifest this old partnership into existence. No, you can't. No, you can't. It's already died. It's done. It's over. You can't. You can't. I feel like somebody is not getting what they deserve because they're letting the emptiness from this unhappy relationship hold them back. A lot of unhappiness here, a lot. No growth for sure. It's like somebody's holding a definite holding on to a dead end. And it's time to be happy again. It's time to go find that perfect match. With endings, bring new beginnings. Somebody has a new beginning here waiting for them to just see it. Just see it. Just go.
we have one commitment where the passion has died, there's no more love. One commitment where the passion has died, there's no more love. Period. It's time to stop hanging on to it. It's time to live again. It's time to begin again. You have somebody else. This is a blessing in disguise. And it's like... They're bringing you a new opportunity right now. It's time to stop hanging on with that Four of Swords reverse to this exhausting situation and wake up. Come out of your coma. Open your heart and get unstuck. It's time to take back control. It's time to take the lead. Maybe this is who is looking at you. Maybe this is who is on the other side. Somebody that can take really, really, really good care of you. Somebody that is family oriented. Somebody that is strong and mature. Somebody that is responsible. Somebody that is, is a leader. Somebody that will actually protect you. If you are the man, I would have to say this is probably you. Needing to take the lead. Needing to take control. Needing to be the boss. Somebody has a much better suitor and they don't even see it. Because they got their mind on the wrong situation. One that is very negative and unhappy. And it's like they have this new opportunity that is so big. It's something that can really turn into something stable and secure and solid and long term something you can really bank on right yes you can bank on it but you have to look at it you have to see it you have to give it a chance so yeah I feel like we have a oh somebody is maybe this is what's happening somebody is taking back control and shutting down their feelings for a dead end situation I am I'm shutting down I'm shutting my heart off not going to invest in this I'm going to accept accept a new opportunity as soon as it knocks on the door because I'm ready for my new beginning and I'm ready for a commitment somebody is taking back control they are maybe this is the male that's doing that it's like you know what I don't have any desire to do this anymore I don't have any desire to there's no desire to commit no desire to commit to this unfertile situation anymore I don't even need to hold on to it anymore so it does feel like somebody is making a decision to take back their control seriously because it looks to me like it's like they realize that this isn't emotionally fulfilling anymore it's not emotionally fulfilling it's not I don't care about closure there's no need. I'm not getting what I deserve here. There's no happiness. It's not fun.
So I feel like we have somebody here that is just <laughs> deciding to give up. Deciding to give up on a situation that they held on to forever. They struggled forever. It was a big struggle. Somebody was determined to wait to the bitter end. And it's like now we're at the bitter friggin' end. Here we are. We are. We're at the bitter end with the death card. Because somebody doesn't have the desire to put in any more effort. I don't have, I'm done. I'm done. It's time. It's time to make this final. The decision has been made. To do the right thing. To bring balance back to my life. So I feel like we have somebody that has decided because this is a decision, the justice, a decision at the end, you know, you think at the end of the court date, the decision is made. The decision has been made. It's over. It's time. It's time for me to transition out of this unrequited love situation. So that I can get what I deserve. And it's like, this is the verdict, right? The verdict. The verdict is in. I've made up my mind. This is over. It's over. And, it, and, it's, and the decision, it could be a sudden decision. Somebody could suddenly get this epiphany that it's done. It's over. I'm heading out. I'm not even going to think about this another minute. So if somebody is headed in a new direction. They're headed on a new adventure. Taking the high road. So I feel like we have somebody here that has decided that I'm going after my wish fulfillment. And if that means that I have to let you go for good, adios. So yeah, somebody is taking action. They're taking fast action to get the hell out. To end it, just as goodbye. Goodbye, that song. I can't sing it because I don't have any drinks in me. But anyhow, um, and I'm doing this to bring peace back to my life. Peace, balance, harmony. It's time, it's time, it's time, it's time. So I feel like today is a day where somebody is giving up. For good. I'm giving up for good. It's over. And I'm at peace. Because the star is peace. I'm at peace. I'm at peace with this decision. The decision has been made. There's no more thinking about it. There's nothing more to think about. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. After staying stuck for so freaking long. Stuck. Grace and gratitude. Through gratitude, joy expands. I see a lot of peace here. It's like doing this to bring peace back. And peace comes back, you know? It's like realizing that this was a blessing in disguise. It really was. It's learning from the experience, right? Anyhow. The secret to expanding joy is to cherish the preciousness of life in everyone and everything around you. It's simple, easy, and so very powerful. Be grateful for as much as you can. Thankfulness is modern-day alchemy. 
It can yield happiness, grace, and peace beyond imagination. And I th somebody has not been at peace, okay? And there's been no joy. There's been no joy. It's like I, 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 I understand now. It's like there's, I, can't, I can't stay in this situation where there isn't any. Because I so desire, I so crave this happiness. I so crave this peace. The secret to a remarkable, fulfilling journey is to allow gratitude to flood, flood you at every juncture. No matter what twists and turns there are in the road, whether you are comfortable or uncomfortable, whether you are confident or unsure, no matter what you are experiencing, even if your challenges seem insurmountable, feeling grateful will ease any challenge, replace darkness with light, and allow you to hear the chorus of angels. Your entire life can transform when you take time to fully, deeply, and profoundly allow the grace of gratitude to fill you. So I feel like somebody has finally realized and come to the conclusion that it's time to take back my, my life. It's time to take back control. It's time to take back my power. And it's time to let go of this unfulfilling, unjoyful, unhappy, emotionally unfulfilling, unrequited love situation in which there is no reciprocation in search for peace, harmony, love, and true commitment. So the decision is final. Good luck.